a modern romance, very modern, as it all began on Instagram. Dennis Lafargue, Elizabeth Wisdom. They, well, love taking and posting photos. It's what led them to find each other. Now, these two are planning a wedding. We're gonna meet them in a moment, but first, here is their wonderful story. It's their own unconventional love story. It all began when Elizabeth Wisdom posted this photo of Crater Lake, Oregon on her Instagram account. Dennis LaFarge, a man she did not know, commented. My family had just done that same trip uh, the summer before, and so it kind of just sparked our conversations back and forth. He like kept commenting on my photos, and so I finally decided to check out his profile and see who this guy was. I started looking forward to like comments I would get from him. So what was next for the couple of 21-year-olds who liked each other? I was very excited when Dennis got my number. I just remember thinking, oh wow, like this is going outside of Instagram. They decided to meet. So Elizabeth drove seven hours from Texas to Louisiana to meet Dennis. And a day later, another posting. It's official, guys. Elizabeth Wisdom is my insta lady. And just nine months after that, an elaborate marriage proposal was in the works. I had this idea to make a timeline of our relationship. 30 Instagram photos chronicling their relationship led Elizabeth to a barn on her grandmother's property, the place where she always wanted to be married. I've never seen a woman. The question popped. The answer, yes. Where would I be without Instagram? That's awesome. <laughs> Elizabeth Wisdom, Dennis LaFarge joining us now. Congratulations, you two. Thank you. Uh, so where would you be without Instagram? <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> you know, thousands what? of people follow you both. Uh, what's it like? What's, what, what's it been like for them as they saw two become one and now it go here? <laughs> it's been great to hear people say that they've been following our story the entire time. It's like... It's so encouraging for us and just to know that there's a whole community out there that supports our relationship and understands it's it. It's terrific. It's now great. you guys, it, it seems like it was very organic, but how was it for your families yeah. Well, yeah. You know, when you have to be like, well, yeah, the whole thing is through pictures <laughs> online. I mean, was there any concern? For sure. Um, uh, my family was skeptical at first. Um, my mom has an Instagram, so she was not as skeptical, but my dad was pretty, was, was pretty skeptical about the whole thing. Yeah, it definitely took a couple of weeks for my parents to really understand that I was really serious about Elizabeth and um, for them to really <laughs> accept it and support us with it. But there was something that was hooking you guys from the start. What was it about the pictures? Um, well, I had there's a couple of pictures that I remember that really got me. Was One, Elizabeth had posted a picture of a tattoo she had gotten over the summer, and it's a scripture verse that is uh, her grandfather's favorite verse. It's Micah 6, 8. And uh, just her being a Christian was very important to me. Mm -hmm. And so there's that, and then also a Crater Lake picture in Oregon. And uh, her family was doing a trip up the West Coast. And uh, the summer before that, um, my family had did the same trip, and we had stopped there, and it's one of my favorite spots. So it kind of sparked our conversation. It is a beautiful but place. All these, all these connections, there had to be one moment when you said, no, this is more than just I'm interested in the pictures, and I think mm -hmm. she's cool. What was it? What was the moment that made you go, and I think I might love her? <laughs> Uh, I, I guess a couple of weeks into it, she posted a picture of herself, and it was like, "Hello, whoa!" <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, even better than Crater Lake. <laughs> <Exactly. laughs> we saw, we we saw the the wonderful proposal. It actually went down in your grandmother's barn, a very yes. place that's very important to you. So, yeah. where are you going to get married? We're getting married outside the barn, you between are. two oak trees. Oh, and so the barn will be like a backdrop for the wedding. That's so that's beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. Outside it's the barn, poetry, really poetry that's on terrific. Instagram. Yeah. That's really, really, really great. Uh, quickly, we've been asking all of you. We're going to share one here uh, and keep them coming. Uh, how uh, did you find love online? Lots of tweets back, including this one from Cheryl in New York. Met my husband online through Yahoo Personals back in 2005. Married for four years, three little boys together. How about that? Uh, oh just one of uh, hundreds and hundreds coming in. So keep them coming, and, and we'll try to share them throughout the show. We want to hear more about your story to be continued. Love meeting you guys.